from strange cruise liners to the biggest oil tankers. These are 10 giant abandoned shipwrecks. Number 10, New Carissa. Owned by the Japanese company Nippon Yusen Kaisha, the New Carissa was a dry bulk freighter which primarily transported wood chips. If you're wondering what the hell a 36,000 ton ship is doing carrying around wood chips, you aren't the only one. As these stories usually go, the ship's crew were warned about entering Coos Bay due to bad weather. The ship was empty at the time and the captain ordered the crew to drop anchor two miles off the coast. The weather conditions got worse and before you know it, the ship started moving. The worst part was that the crew did not even notice the movement. The ship ran aground. A while later, it broke in two, as is customary. Then before all the fuel had spilled causing an ecological disaster, it was burned with napalm. The bow was towed out to sea and sunk. The stern was part of the scenery until 2008, when it was dismantled. Surely some metal is left over in the shallow waters near Coos Bay. Number 9. MV Selendang Ai In 2004, the MV Selendang Ai was halfway through a routine trip from Seattle, Washington to Xiamen, China, with a cargo of 66,000 tons of soybeans. All right, pause for a second. Who else is amazed by the amount of cargo these ships can handle? And more importantly, where the hell do you get 66,000 tons of soybeans to begin with? Just crazy. Everything was going well until a small malfunction with the engine. Well, it was small at first, but with each passing hour, more things went wrong. The ship started drifting towards land at 1.6 knots or 1.8 miles per hour. The crew was desperately trying to fix the issues with the engine, but time and weather were against them. Tugboats failed and anchoring failed as well. The ship was headed for land and there was no stopping. During the rescue of the crew, a rogue wave broke over the ship and hit the helicopter. Unfortunately, the helicopter crashed into the ocean. Six crew members were never seen again. Number 8. The MV Argo Merchant this oil tanker story begins in 1953, and believe you me, it's murky to say the least. The Argo Merchant was involved in over 12 major maritime accidents. The ship was grounded twice, but the third and final incident was the worst. The MV Argo Merchant found itself too close to the shore southeast of Nantucket Island in Massachusetts. What followed was one of the worst environmental disasters on the East Coast. On December 21st, 1976, only six days after grounding, the ship broke apart and 7.7 .7 million gallons of oil emptied out into the ocean. Luckily, the winds carried the oil slick away from the shore. Number 7. The MVE Evangelica This is one of the few ships on our list that was actually involved in the Second World War but that had nothing to do with its ultimate fate. The MVE Evangelica had many names. It took its maiden voyage as the Empire Strength, and it was designated as a refrigerated cargo ship. The main route of the ship was England to Australia, and eventually it traveled to Argentina as well. Right now, you can still see the remains of the Evangelica if you're willing to travel to the Black Sea. It's in very good condition, considering the ship ran aground in 1968. Sooner or later, the sea will claim it as its own, but until then, enjoy the rusted metal, I guess. Number 6. The SS Palo Alto Built in Oakland, California, the SS Palo Alto was a concrete ship. Wait, 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 <laughs> what? Yeah, you heard that right, concrete ship. It turns out, it was a lot cheaper to find the materials, but the labor and operating costs were higher than usual. So, fair trade-off, I guess? Anyway, the ship was completed in 1919, too late to see any action in the war. In 1929, a company decided to turn it into an amusement park. A pier was built to reach the ship, but not even two years later, the company went bankrupt. Nothing of note has happened since then. The ship can still be found at the Seacliff Beach. 
And oh yeah, apparently in 2005, it was found out that the concrete ship was leaking fuel. Why it still had fuel in its tanks almost a hundred years later is a mystery for another time. Number 5. Temple Hall Finding information on this shipwreck was harder than I thought. Built in 1954, the Temple Hall changed many owners during its years of operation. On a voyage from San Pedro to Thessaloniki, the ship was stuck between a rock and a hard wave, so to say. Bad weather, heavy seas, and no luck to be found, the Temple Hall, now known as the Telamon, ran aground near the Canary Island, Lanzarote. It didn't help that the maintenance record for the ship was abysmal. You can still find it at the exact same spot, some 40 years after it wrecked. Number 4. Zela Shipwreck Zela was a fishing trawler way past its prime and it's also the smallest ship on this list. Built in 1975, the trawler did its job until the late 2000s, and by 2008, it was on its way to Bombay to be used as scrap metal. Unfortunately, the Zealous tow line snapped and the ship headed for the shore. If you follow this channel, you know my fascination with the skeleton coast of Namibia. Just another example of why this strange and bizarre place is worth a visit. The northern Namibian coast is known under many different names. Portuguese explorers called it the Gates of Hell. Local tribes named it the land God made in anger. The one that stuck out the most was the Skeleton Coast, coined by the writer John Henry Marsh from a book he wrote by the same name. From derelict buildings, hundreds of shipwrecks, and thousands of whale and seal bones, the Skeleton Coast lives up to its name. And you should definitely check out the video I just linked to. Number 3. Mega One Triton With a name like that, you might expect something a bit bigger. But life ain't fair, kid. During Hurricane Sandy, Mega One Triton was one of the unlucky vessels that was ran aground due to the weather. Since 2012, it has become a tourist destination for those that are interested in urban exploration. This counts as urban exploration, right? After all, it is right on the beach. The local government strongly advises the public to stay away from the wreck since the ship is deteriorating very fast. But I'm not sure anyone is heeding their advice. There was plans to remove the ship from the coastline by December of 2017, but has it happened yet? I don't think so. Number 2. Aglios Dimitrios This shipwreck was also tricky to find. I have some contradicting information on the exact name of the ship. I found sources that listed it as MV Cornelia and others that called it Dimitrios. So if anyone can shed some light on the subject, that would be great. The ship was built in 1950 and its history is a bit mysterious. Stories of smuggling cigarettes and ghosts have been circling since it wrecked in 1981. The cigarette smuggling story is much more believable. Sorry, ghost hunters. It goes something like this. The Demetrios was seized at port after contraband cigarettes were found on board. Instead of paying the fines and dealing with authorities, the ship was purposefully released from the port and left to run aground, where all the evidence was set on fire. What do you think? Plausible? Number 1. Ocean Dream I have been waiting to write about this cruise ship for months now. I finally found enough pictures to entertain you with while I haphazardly try to explain the story behind the ship. Built in the 70s under the name Spirit of London, this cruise ship enjoyed a long and lustrous career in the high seas, providing comfort and entertainment for many people. But all good things must come to an end, and in February 2016, the Ocean Dream met Old Lady Fate. What's crazy is that the cruise ship was sold for scrap metal in 2009, but before it was destroyed, another cruise company bought it. Turns out, those guys weren't cool at all. They left the ship near Lam Chabang in Thailand. The cruise liner was abandoned for over a year by crew and maintenance. It finally capsized in February of 2016. I would definitely suggest not booking a cruise on the Ocean Dream, even though the website is still offering it. There is evidence that a company tried to salvage the ship, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.